Ten Geese is one of the most prolific oil and gas producing fields in the world today. And Chevron's operations at TCO have been a foundational part of our portfolio since the partnership was formed in 1993. Since its startup, the facilities have been expanded and optimized to increase production capacity and reliability while improving safety and environmental performance. In 2008, the second generation plant came online. And since then, multiple de-bottlenecking initiatives have increased reliability to 98% and its capacity by more than 20%. In 2016, the TCO partnership approved the plan to further develop the Tengiz field with two interconnected projects, the Wellhead Pressure Management Project and the Future Growth Project. WPMP is designed to extend the production plateau of TCO well beyond 2022 by providing facilities that allow new and existing wells to flow even at lower reservoir pressures. FGP is an expansion project that builds on proven sour gas injection technology to enhance recovery and increase production to approximately 1 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. The project has five phases that run concurrently. The engineering phase is 90% complete. Our off-site module fabrication phase is progressing well and is 65% complete. In South Korea, we are building a total of 81 process and utility modules. In Italy, we are building five gas turbine generators. And in Kazakhstan, we are building 75 pipe rack modules. As part of the logistics phase, we've implemented a unique transportation solution that uses a combination of international and inland waterway systems. These systems are connected to a purpose-built offloading facility in the Caspian Sea adjacent to the Tengiz field. Logistics activity will peak in 2019 with daily arrival of process modules, pipe racks, gas turbine generators, and other equipment. As part of the on-site construction phase, we are completing the civil and underground work while making good progress on pipe racks and other equipment installations. We are also constructing an integrated operations center where operations, maintenance, and engineering will work in a centralized digital environment to make better, faster decisions that result in increased reliability and production. For the drilling phase, 25 wells have already been drilled and completed. Recent optimization and the implementation of best practices have reduced drilling time by 50%. As a result, drilling is currently well ahead of plan. As modules and equipment arrive on location, productivity is a key focus area. In 2018, we have deployed and proven the effectiveness of specific project management tools that break down complex workflows into simpler, discrete actions that drive daily performance. By the end of 2019, we expect main engineering to be essentially completed. All work at the Italy, Kazakhstan, and one of the two Korean fabrication yards to be completed. All gas turbine generators and pipe rack modules to be delivered and installed. And nearly 70% of the process and utility modules to be delivered. As we look to the future, TCO remains on track to deliver first oil in 2022.